My name is Brad Bailey. I'm a designer who specializes in massive amounts of information. And what we have here, fitting in with the rest of the show, is a map of science showing how the different areas of science relate to the different areas of the world as well as to one another. It's using a relatively innovative display technology um, called an illuminated diagram, which is an old-fashioned print and a projector that's controlled by a computer projecting light onto the print to help direct your attention to specific issues. This particular print is showing a map of 776 different specific areas in science. Um, Dick Clavins and Kevin Boyack did the analysis and the initial layout of these nodes here. And what we're looking at is each different spot is a separate area of science. And the reason it's laid out in a ring here is really interesting. It isn't laid out because Dick and Kevin and I wanted it to be in a ring. The way that we allowed the nodes to lay themselves out is we said, if you are related, then keep them close. But if you're not terribly related, for instance, chemistry is not terribly related to the social sciences, then it allowed, then, then the layout algorithm allowed these things to spread out. It's called a force-directed placement algorithm. What we're doing with the illuminated diagram part of this is we're lighting up the nodes. So right now it's coming through chemistry, and this is the more theoretical chemistry that's dealing with genomics. And that's causing lights to appear on this geographic map. But you'll notice that certain areas are lighting up. What's happening is as a certain area of science lights up on the other map, we light up only the places in the world that deal with that science. So this is a way of linking the two maps together.